These are the things that are super fun on the boat. You go to remove a hose and it's all poopy water. Oh, oh, oh God, it's so nasty. My name is James Evenson. I'm a mechanic, a musician, and a round the world sailor. Four years ago, I'd sold everything and made some interesting life choices. I bought a catamaran, built a hardtop, sailed to Cuba, painted shark's teeth on the front of the cat, met a girl, lost a rudder, built a rudder in a shed, lost the other rudder, built a rudder on the beach, dressed in drag, made coffee in a sock, dressed in drag again, sailed to Easter Island, sank the dinghy, sailed to Pitcairn, sank the dinghy again, sailed to French Polynesia, sank the dinghy one more time, got a new dinghy. I meant to do that. Sailed to Hawaii, shipwrecked in Hawaii, rode the catamaran down the street at three o'clock in the morning, wrote some magazine articles, started a Kickstarter campaign, broke up with the girl, flew to Curacao, and now I'm finally grinding my way back to life on the water and my next adventure. Oh yeah, oh. So good to take plastic wrapping off stuff. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ha ha! I am James. King of the Overlords! Man, that was a horrible idea. There is now dust all over my camera. I'm not gonna film the rest of these because it's just gonna ruin the camera, but uh, you get the point. Wow, I look like crap. Look at this. Okay, so I'm done. I just left two of them just to show you the difference between one that was good and one that was bad. So you guys can see in the future, just in case you get a boat and you wanna know, uh, just take a sander and sand off all the paint. And if you see this, it's bad. If you see, if you see just bronze, it's good. So I'll show you now. You see the pink in there? That's bad. That's a bad through hole. You can see right here, this one is already done, and this one's entirely pink. No bronze left in that one. This one's got a little bronze left in it. And then this one. So when you shave these things down, this is what you end up with. This one is actually good, but I had to change it anyway because it's British Standard Thread. And then you just grab this, Pull it off. Cool. And then knock that out. So here's that same valve after I've ground it away. And you can see how much pink is in there. Should be all bronze. So that one's about dead. This one is all dead. And it goes on from there. Okay, I finally finished. I'm gonna go take a shower. Whew, Shit job. But at least they're done. Now I just gotta get them out. <laughs> That's another job. <laughs> all right, so I knocked back all the glass. The thing is pretty much out. Um, I went and bought this tool, thinking this, would, this was like the only thing I could find that was maybe would work. And this'll grab it right, you know, like this'll, do a good job of grabbing onto it. I just can't get any leverage to actually get it off of there. So I'm gonna have to cut it. There's, I don't have anything to cut it. I've got this tool, this roto zip thing, but the guy lost the mandrel for the, the cutter part. So it's just this thing. I've got this cutter, like this would work perfect if I had the little mandrel, but I don't have it. I, I can't find it anywhere. There's one, but this one's too thin. So, oh, how frustrating. So uh, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna stop doing this. It's been like five hours. I've been trying to get this through hold out and I can't. So um, I'm gonna work on the other ones and get them all down to the through holes. And then I'll borrow someone's cutting tool and I'll uh, go cut that out. Okay, it's just the through hole left in there. I was able to get the nut off in pieces so check this out it's pretty pink what do you guys think should i replace all of them i mean this one's pretty pink man look i'd used this the drill cutter thingy and that works okay 
Thank God it's bronze. So, guys are here. There's two guys working on the boat to help me get the through holes out because they are impossible with just one person. So, I'm letting them take care of it. They got way bigger tools than me, and uh, we're gonna get all of them out. I ground them all off, and I got all of the uh, the things ready to go. But they're really a bear to get out. No puedo lograr aquí te reche quinam, bruche. Mi no puedo lograr aquí te reche quinam. Ah, okay. Damn. So difficult. Sí, sí, reche quita también. Da una, una, da una. Okay, me voy a poner. Is it done, gentlemen? Ah, man. You know what this is? That is from that. Which is the holding tank? Which is f***ing full. Ah, this is not good. These are the things that are super fun on the boat. You go to remove a hose, and it's all poopy water. Oh, oh. It's like some poopy coming out. Oh man. Holding tank is full, what? That is just, that is just gross. Oh God, it's so nasty. I guess I have no choice but to just let that empty out into the bilge and then pump it overboard with the bilge. Part of the fun of buying a boat, people. You wanna buy a boat? This is what you get. Any boat, unless you buy brand new. Cool. <laughs> Nicely done, guys. Hey, guys, thank you. Thank okay. you so much. Welcome. Okay, we did it. We've got all of the through holes out. They're everywhere. It's like a sieve, this boat. There's two here. There's four here. It's, they're just everywhere. 
But the boys did it. Brucha and Manuel, thank you very much. You guys are awesome. It took me like 10 hours to remove two. It took them like three hours to remove all the rest of the 13. <laughs>